of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. We want to welcome you today to the broadcast. Hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great Tuesday today. It's August the 16th, 2022. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, Wow, what a weekend we had at the Calvary Baptist Church in Union Grove, North Carolina now. You had to be there to understand what I'm saying, but it was just an incredible day. All day, uh, all day Sunday, uh, Sunday school at 945, and then the service on Sunday morning, and then Sunday night. Of course, uh, if uh, you were there Sunday night, you know what I'm talking about. Boy, it was just that we just got in the glory. I mean, it was just a blessing, and God just met with us miraculously and uh, wonderfully, and we just thank the Lord for his blessings, and we're so honored to be a part of the family of God, and man, what a blessing it is to be able to go to the house of God, and I hope that wherever you attended this last Sunday, and I hope you did attend, you did attend, didn't you, and I hope wherever you attended, I hope it just, man, I hope it was wonderful, wonderful. By the way, just in case you're wondering, that's how the house of God is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a place of great fellowship. Uh, It's supposed to be a place of wonderful love. It's supposed to be a great place of instruction and challenge and enlightenment and encouragement. And uh, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, Sunday night when my wife and I went home, we went went away encouraged. I mean, it was fantastic. And we thank the Lord for that. Well, it's fantastic to have you here today. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Countdown to Courage is an outreach ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove, and so we're delighted to be coming to you today. Well, listen, it's been a full day today. We took the kids, some of our kids uh, were visiting from the state of California, and we took Tim and Hannah and the boys, Moses and Adrian, uh, Adrian took them to the hospital early, uh, let's, let's change that, took them to the airport um, uh, earlier this morning, their flight was to leave at 6.15. Please pray for them as their flight has been delayed and now diverted. And uh, and so uh, it looks like, Lord willing, they're still going to get home, but it'll be later tonight. And so uh, anyway, uh, we appreciate your prayers for them, that God would give them safety and traveling mercies. Hey, we're going to mention an announcement and then a giveaway, and we'll get into a super brief lesson today, but I hope you'll hang in there with us for the next 10 minutes or so, and we want to speak into your life just for a few moments today to the glory of Christ, and so uh, we're going to go ahead at this time and find out who is watching, and then uh, to the announcement, and then to the lesson, all right, and so I hope that you'll uh, hang in there with us just for a little bit today. Uh, let's see here. I'll do these shout outs very quickly today. Judy Connors watching. Hello, Miss Judy. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. It's so good to see you today. Jennifer Burton is with us today. Miss Jennifer, welcome to Countdown. Thank you for tuning in. Karen Hoffman. Hello, Karen. Happy Tuesday. Good to see you today. The Hooks are watching from Morganton, North Carolina, Barry and Christine. We count you folks as dear friends and it's good to see you today. God bless you. There's Gary and Christine. Watching from Union Grove, North Carolina, we welcome the Edwards aboard today. Good to see you guys. There's the bridges, Brandon, Mandy, uh, one or the other, maybe both, I'm not sure. But whoever it is, uh, we welcome the bridges today. We love you guys, and we're praying for you earlier today. There's the Daniels, Jimmy and Nellie Daniels. So good to see the Daniels on here with us today. Watching from over around Harmony, North Carolina, it's good to see uh, Jimmy and Nellie on here with us. Um, Let's see here. Carmen Brooks. Hello, Carmen. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great week so far. Uh, Let me see here. Rose Ballou is watching. Hello, Rose. 
good to see you, and I hope you're doing well. Hope you're recovering well. And Rose, good to see you today. God bless you. Uh, Eugene is watching from West Jefferson, North Carolina. Uh, Eugene, good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. God bless you. Uh, Robin Horn is watching. Robin, welcome to the broadcast today. Thank you for tuning in to Countdown. There's Carrie Painter. Hello, Miss Carrie. Good to see you today. Man, we enjoyed that testimony from little Meredith the other night. And I hope you and Timmy and the girls are having a great day today. Tony Call is watching. Hello, Tony. Welcome to Countdown to Courage. Thank you for tuning in. Patsy Bird is watching from the Harmony, North Carolina area. Patsy, I hope you and Ronnie are blessed uh, beyond measure. Good to see you today. Michelle Hoots is watching. Hello, Michelle. Welcome. And we welcome maybe the children as well. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, let's see here. Donnie and Tamara Gilly. We want to welcome the Gillies aboard. Appreciate Donnie and Tamara in a big way. So good to see y'all. Uh, Pam Genoas is watching today. Hello, Pam. Welcome back. And uh, thanks for being uh, a faithful watcher of the broadcast. We appreciate that. There's Abel Seats. Well, Abel's here. We can get started now. Hello, Abel. Good to see you. And I hope you and Lauren are having an incredible day today. It's so good to have you. Uh, Jennifer Turner's watching. Jennifer, welcome. Thanks for tuning in on this Tuesday. God bless you. There's Evan Hoots. Hello, Evan. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a great day today. God bless you. There's Holly Hutchins watching from uh, watching from uh, Georgia, Georgia. And uh, Holly, I hope you and Robert and the kids are having a wonderful week so far. It's so good to see you today. There's Gwendolyn Pennington also watching from West Jefferson, North Carolina. Gwendolyn, welcome aboard today. God bless you. Simon Wanjahe is watching from of course, Kenya. And so, Simon, good to see you. I was praying for you just here recently. Thank you for tuning in, Simon. God bless you. That's wonderful. Uh, the family is watching. That's great. It's great, Simon. We welcome you folks watching from uh, Nairobi, Kenya. What a blessing. Thank you for tuning in. Well, listen, good crowd. Good crowd on here today. And uh, let me see if I can take us uh, quickly to the split screen. And of course, I want to mention Awesome August. First of all, now uh, to all of our Calvary family and all interested, uh, during the month of August, we move our midweek service, which is normally on Wednesday to Thursday. We're doing that uh, this week as well. Wow. And, and, and by the way, if I might just add what an awesome August it has been. I mean, it has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, Brother Finley brought a message that encouraged our church so greatly. And then, of course, last week, Pastor John White preached a message on the words on our tongue. It was so helpful, and we have received so much feedback from that. Tomorrow evening, God, I'm sorry, Thursday evening, Lord willing, we will welcome to the pulpit Pastor Tim McCann from the Cherry Grove Baptist Church in Moravian Falls, North Carolina. Looking forward to having Brother McCann with us, and so please be praying for this special service. We're looking forward to what the Lord is going to do. Again, that's going to be Thursday night, 7 p.m., and we're looking forward to the Lord blessing once again. Uh, also, I want to make, make mention of this. We are going to promote a giveaway this week. We didn't do a giveaway last week, but we're going to promote a giveaway this week, and so we're promoting, of course, my brand new book on heaven, Fact, Fiction, and False Doctrine, and, uh, and I am excited that we're receiving some feedback on the book. Folks are looking, folks are reading, it's causing folks to have questions, and we thank the Lord for that. Now, here's the thing, if you already have this book, well, you can gift it to someone, or if you would like to trade it in for something of equal value there in the bookstore at Calvary, Common Grounds, then uh, we encourage you to do that. I had a, a gentleman, does not attend Calvary, but reached out to us this week and, and said, Pastor, how can, I, how can I get the book? Well... You can go to Amazon and you can order your copy on Amazon and uh, the uh, digital version is there. Also, the paperback or the hardback is available there on Amazon or you can go to Golian's Christian Supply. We love uh, uh, partnering with Golian's Christian Supply. They have uh, a big store there in Statesville, North Carolina, also over in King, and I sure love these uh, folks. I love the Golian family. And they have been so good to partner with us in this. And so the books are available at Golian's. And also, of course, at Common Grounds, 
there uh, at Calvary. And so anyway, anyway, we're going to promote this, this book giveaway. So you say, well, Pastor, what, what do I have to do? Well, number one, I want you to like the broadcast today, but then it's very important that you share. And uh, Lord willing, toward the end of the week, my beautiful little wife will take those uh, names of those who share and uh, we'll make the drawing out of those who've shared the broadcast, all right? So very simple, very simple. Uh, just share the broadcast right now and uh, because you have a lot of friends and people that you know, and, uh, and I hope that this would help some of them. And so anyway, I hope that you'll get involved in the giveaway. I want to do this if I could. I want to read a scripture for you, and then I want to uh, just give you a story uh, then a couple brief comments today, if I could. Uh, Proverbs 16, verse number nine, the Bible says it like this. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. What a, what a thought. But the Lord directeth his steps. I remember, uh, being a little older, I remember President Ronald Reagan. Some of you do as well. Listen to this story if you will, about President Ronald Reagan. It says, President Ronald Reagan's family was often poor while he was growing up because his father was an alcoholic. Uh, he told the story later in his life that an aunt had offered to purchase a pair of shoes for him. When, he, when she took him to the cobbler, uh, young Reagan was asked, do you want square toes or round toes? Unable to, uh, to decide, Reagan didn't answer, so the cobbler gave him a few days to choose. Several days later, the cobbler saw Reagan on the street and asked him again what kind of toes he wanted on his shoes. Reagan still couldn't decide, so the shoemaker replied, well, come by in a couple of days, your shoes will be ready. When the future president did so, he found a pair of shoes, listen to this, one square-toed and one round-toed. This will teach you to never let people make decisions for you, the cobbler said to his indecisive customer. I learned right then and there, Reagan said later, if you don't make your own decisions, someone else will. Wow. <laughs> Can I get a wow right there? I think that deserves some thumbs up right there. If you don't learn how to make your own decisions, someone else will. Well, with that in mind, and I think I entitled this today, Making Decisions, Making Decisions. Can I encourage us as I go off the air today? Can I encourage you to do a couple things? Number one, I want to encourage us to yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. We're doing a series right now, which I believe is uh, going to be one of the more impactful series that we've ever done at the Calvary Baptist Church. We're doing a series on the doctrine of the Holy Spirit, the ministry of the Holy Spirit and one of the things that we've taught in this series is that it is the ministry of the Holy Spirit to guide. I believe it's John chapter 16. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, would guide. He's going to guide. And it's very, very important that you and I yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit every single day, many times a day. Why? Because it is the job, it's the job of the Holy Spirit to guide you. And it's the job of the Holy Spirit to guide me. We make many decisions throughout the day. And because of that, we need the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and so it's very important that you and I, in making decisions, it's very important that we're spirit-filled, that we're spirit-led, that we're uh, uh, bearing the, the fruit of the Spirit, and that the Spirit of God is guiding us. But number two, I want to say this. It's also imperative that you and I spend time in the Word of God each and every day. Now, why is that? Because the Word of God is not a natural book. The Word of God is a supernatural book. The, the, the Word of God, if I could put it like this, the Word of God acts much like your GPS does in your car or uh, on your phone. Sometimes if you're going to a destination and you don't know exactly how to get there, you type in the address in your GPS, and that GPS gives you turn-by-turn -turn details, directions. Sometimes it notifies you when there's traffic. Sometimes it notifies you when a certain road is closed. Sometimes it will give you um, a, a, a quicker trip or, um, or a longer trip or maybe a trip uh, where you can avoid the highways. Again, that GPS 
helps you make the right decisions concerning that destination. And so it is with the word of God. Uh, As we're making decisions throughout our life, as we're making decisions throughout our day, it's important that we spend time in our GPS, the word of God. Why? Because the word of God is going to help us in making the right decisions at the right time. And as long as you're letting the word of God lead you and guide you, boy, how about this? It's always going to lead you to the right destination. And so thank God we have some helps when it comes to making the right decisions. Well, hey, listen, I want to put our prayer helpline on the screen today, 704-327-5662. If you're watching this broadcast today, uh, maybe you just happen, so happen to tune in today, maybe for the first time, and you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you right now, reach for your phone and dial that number, and I'll promise you, we're not going to ask you for a donation. We would just like to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you and how you can know that you know that you're going to heaven when you die. You say, Pastor, no one can know. Sure they can. 1 John 5, 13, the Bible says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. And so thank God we can know. So please, if you don't know Christ as Savior, call that number right now, and we would love to share the gospel of Jesus with you today. And then countdown, family, don't forget, be kind to everyone, because everyone's having a tough time. Hey, listen, I hope you have a great Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in today. And uh, don't forget to share the broadcast if you'd like to get involved uh, in the giveaway for the book on heaven. And Lord willing, if all goes well, we'll look forward to seeing you back tomorrow at this same time here on Countdown to Courage. God bless you and have a great rest of the day.